Something happened, I like hiccuped. Brad, such a showman. Such a showman. F*** the show. For the people. <laughs> For the people. F*** the people. <laughs> hey guys, today on It's Alive, we got a little special edition. Sean Evans from First We Feast. You might have seen him on Hot Ones and Sean in the Wild. I took two bites, bitch. <coughs> Buying his glasses, there is a human being. Oh! Stay it on top, too. Ah! But he's here with us today, and I'm going to show him how to make a cast iron pizza. Should be fun. It should be fun, and we're doing a little bit of a twist. Similar to hot ones, we're going to be eating increasingly hot bites of pizza as we make another pizza. Starting with the It's Alive hot sauce and finishing with something that's probably not even safe to eat. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Put your seatbelt on, Sean. <laughs> Hot sauces, how do they, they measure by the Scoville unit, I think it's called? Yeah, yes. Yeah. What the Scoville scale is, is a measure of capsation concentrations. And so a jalapeno, for example, that'll probably measure around 10,000. Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage, for example, 550 thousand on the skull oh, yeah, scale. sounds mild. So today we're gonna be eating pizza bites 55 times hotter than a jalapeno. Great, great, and I think jalapenos <laughs> are kinda hot, so. Did you ever test your no, sauce? just on the tongue. All right, well I would say this, beautiful. Beautiful color. color. I'm very impressed. It's, it's fermented, I It's I fermented, guess, yeah, yes. and I feel like the peppers lose a little bit of their heat in the ferment. So not super hot. But kind of hot. But kind of hot. I would say this, listen, if you're not a hot sauce person, if you don't have a foundation for it, this will knock some people off their chair for sure. I All think right, you're good. I think you're looking at a, at an 80,000, 100,000. Really? Very yeah. nice. I'm impressed. Very I'm impressed. Cool. Well, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's nice on pizza. Mm -hmm. Great on pizza. <laughs> I'm proud of you. This is very good. <laughs> thank you. Hot sauce is my thing. Cast iron pizzas, I know they're your thing. How do you so, start? First off, preheat your oven. These ones, thankfully, we get up to 500. So I'm going up to 550, that's fine. Turn that up to 550. And then I put this on a little medium low, just so when I drop it in there, it's already hot, ready to go. That'll help set up that nice snappy crust on the bottom. And then uh, we'll start working the dough a little. Brad. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Are you forgetting something? Man, that was that quick. Too. This oh, is the hot, hot one sauce, 15,500 on the Scoville scale. Right. I will take a bite. Oh, yeah, nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Little tickle on the tongue there. Mm -hmm. But very nice on pizza. If you can eat that, like I said, just like kind of like the, the it's a lot. Just like you. We're competing in the same well, market. Market. You got me beat on the label. <laughs> All right, that wasn't so bad. I'm, I got a feeling uh, the phase three is going to be a little more abusive. It's a very steep ramp up today. Oh, great. First of all, you want to get a little flour. So I use a little bit of cornmeal, all-purpose flour, and just a pinch of sugar. And that little bit of sugar helps you really get a nice snappy crust on the bottom. Is it mostly just the texture thing? Do you get any taste out of that, or what's the... Uh, you know, I don't think you get too, too much taste. It's more of a texture thing. It doesn't burn, and it helps that pizza release real easily. Right, right. Pretty satisfying stuff. So I just like to make a little pad here, a little landing zone for the pizza. And again, for all you pizza folks out there, you know, I'm not throwing this thing in the air like Giuseppe, uh, but I, you know, I, I kind of just mold it in my hands. Everyone has their own way. As long as you get it round, I don't care, all right? If you've got a problem, comment below. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna drop this, invert this right out, boom, boom. With the cast iron, how is this different from deep dish pizza? What's special about the well, cast iron? Well, I wouldn't iron? even consider this really a deep dish pizza. We're not building like this crazy thing like you boys in the 312 do or whatever. <laughs> but what I like, you know, um, what was the question again? And what's different about the slice is the oven. You look inside that pizza oven, it's this big slab of steel that they're throwing them on. So by pre eating that, we're kind of cheating it. Always put a little salt on your dough, Vince. Always season your dough, bud. I even like to put a little black pepper on there. So I got the cast iron that I've preheated on the stove top. Now, well, I reckon we should probably eat another bagel bite, huh? We're going right into the lion's den here. Now up is the zombie apocalypse. I'll let you bite it first, and I'll do what you... Well, he's a freaking professional. Oh, yeah, great, great flavor. <laughs> oh, a habanero? <clears throat> Jesus Christ, son. This isn't fun. Yeah, let's make more pizza. Let's see how many hurdles we can put in front of us while we make I'm this pizza. I'm just a little scared it gets worse than that. What are you drinking there? Milk. A little milk action. That helps. My freaking eyes are tearing, Sean. Jesus Christ. 
I don't even like milk. Let's get moving. Now I'm just gonna drop a little bit of this into the pan. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Good God. And then here, uh, you just wanna do this with confidence. Pick it up and just go. I like to get the little crust up there, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo! Oh, Vinny, I gotta blow my nose. Sean, you, you drive the boat I got this, I got this, man. I got you. Holy pizza. Christ. You know, it's cold. <clears throat> All right, pull together, Leone. Sweating here. All right, Sean. You want it? So what I like to do is the ladle. Ladle that in. And what I like to do is get it up on the crust too. Interesting. Yeah, here, give it a whirl. What do you like about that? Most people do not put it on the crust. No, Why do you most put it not. on the crust. They, well, because I like I like sauce on the crust, and I think it does a nice thing. It just kind of caramelizes on the on the crust. Jesus Christ. We're in for a real show once we get to the next phase. It's already happening. The train's on the tracks. The train is off the tracks. Off Sean. the tracks. All right, for my next trick. We're gonna do the cheese. Here, you can do this. I got you, Put bro. you to work. Yeah, yeah, nice. And I like to even get it up onto the crust, too. I, I, you know what, I beat you to that because I knew that you were going there. there we go. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of mushroom on there. Look at this, uh, look at this tag team, this pizza. Yeah, we're doing here. good, huh? What I like to do here is take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and just do a little light drizzle real quick. Whoop. That'll sneak underneath a little bit and help raise up that crust. So uh, we're, whew, we're gonna throw this into the oven, all right, Vincenzo? Here we go. Coming in. I don't go putting a timer on it because every pie is a little different. You know, keep an eye on it. When it looks like it's starting to get to the color you want, then we pull it. So in the meantime... So, yeah, let's just torture me more. I had to take the gubellini off. I'm sweating over here. All right, this is what? The bomb? The bomb beyond insanity. Oh, sounds great. Sounds appetizing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, huh? Just go. Right, you go. Just, I'm just... All right. I'm not there yet. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, oh no, it's starting to lay, it's starting, it's getting there. Yeah, it's, it's, whoa, 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 whoa. to me, it's almost like metallic. <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, tickle in the throat a bit. <laughs> Vinny, your throat's closing. Oh, I, I feel like the other one, maybe I just got a, oh no, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the pizza in the oven. <laughs> <clears throat> I got the ovens in my mouth. I should just put the pizza in my mouth. Terrible joke. Oh god, that one was a little bit of a creeper. Yeah, that yeah, hot they, sauce. they're like that sometimes. Right. Cheese is melting, dough's rising. We're letting all the heat out, Vinny. Are you a spicy food guy? I don't like when it like over it ruins the dish. Right. You know, for me, it's like more of a balanced thing. I'm not a big fan of just popping the pepper. You know, I've done that a few times. You have. I've done that a couple times too. I used to work at this deli in Fairfield, New Jersey, when I was a young lad. And this little Italian man came in and he was growing these peppers. And he's like, oh, you gotta eat one, blah, blah, blah. He's like, don't eat the whole thing. And I was like, all right. I, I took a bite and I remember for about half an hour, I couldn't work. I had, I was, my head was on the table and it was just like drooling out. I don't know what he had. I like that you're just sort of uh, accepting peppers from strangers and then just popping them. Well, I knew, I knew him, but I didn't know he was growing like heavy metal peppers, you yeah. know? What do you, what's some of your favorite stuff do you like to put on pizza? To me, uh, a green pepper sausage pizza green is... Pe Sorry to cut you off. Green bell pepper. Yes. I knew I liked you. Everyone busts my chops about green bell peppers. No. Love them. All right, let's do one more check here, Vincenzo. We'll pull it out, we'll take a look. So just for a little demonstration sake, we'll give it a check. If it needs to go that back in... That looks beautiful. Don't look bad, right? And uh, take a peek on the bottom. We you say you want to make sure there's no pale spots under there. That pizza should lift right off. Nice bubblage. We're, I'm going to call this now, time of death, is uh, 440. Boom. Boom. Look at that. No droopage, no nothing. And we'll let that rest, let that hang out before we uh, get going. Ow! Is we just... <laughs> but I guess we'll jump in, get our last pizza bite. You think I should eat the whole thing? We've already kind of gone three quarters of the way Yeah, I feel the good mountain. now, I'm like, hi. Exactly, and just push the chips in the middle of the table. Who cares? <laughs> All in, baby. All in. Yeah, not bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, so, <clears throat> before this pizza gets cold, <clears throat> oh, oh God, my mm -hmm. fingers don't work. We're gonna just drape a little bit of that ham on there. That's good. Yeah, yeah, great. Put the ham on. Here, yeah, you can do the base of a crust. I got you. I got you. Woo! Yep. I'm sorry, I can't think. Yep. That one was hot. You're there. Where You're am, in man? that space, man. I'm right with you. <coughs> I'm right with you. 
something happened. I like hiccuped. Brad, such a showman. Such a showman. F the show. For the people. <laughs> For the people. F the people. <laughs> yeah, that hiccup hurt me. I don't know what happened there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, this is terrible, Sean. Yeah, yeah. I right, was just gonna brush that right on. Aren't you glad Bon Appetit gave you a test kitchen show? Yeah. Not a hot sauce show. Hey. All right, there you have it. It's a wrap. Bye. <laughs> I always like to drizzle with a little. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Just a little olive oil drizzle yeah. to bring it home. I like that. Just a little bit. Oh man, I gotta blow my nose again. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Some consequences. Death sauce for sure. <laughs> 550,000 Scoville, a jalapeno, oh, 10,000, so 55 times hotter than a jalapeno. Sean, my f***ing ears hurt. Coursing through the bloodstream <laughs> over here. Well, cheers, man. And look at this. It's not falling apart. No, look at this. Perfect. And that's from starting with a hot pan and having that, I think that little bit of sugar in the mix really kind of helps. Good. It's a great pizza. Cooked through all the way, nice. Cooked through, crispy, crispy crust bottom. at the bottom. Yeah, that's There's important. no sog action. This ain't no DiGiorno's. Right. This ain't no freezer pizza right here. <laughs> this is the real deal. And uh, I mean, as we saw, it's pretty easy. But as we've learned today, nothing in this episode is easy. So before you take <laughs> a bite. Oh, jeez. I thought we were done, Sean. This is the last dab. It is the hottest sauce on the show. What we're gonna, gonna tell my do family I love them. is dab the last bite with a little something extra. Bottom line is this, my man. I hope that you enjoy the last dab as much as I enjoyed the pizza. And I really well, think you Well, thank you. Will. And no matter what happens after this bite, it's been a real it's, pleasure. It, it's yeah. been a lovely day. <laughs> yeah. All right, here goes nothing, Vincenzo. I hope you're happy. Oh. No. <laughs> the pizza being hot itself didn't help anything. I feel like I might have swallowed the bulk of it, which probably isn't going to be good in about eight hours. Right, right, right. I don't know. It didn't really light me up because I think I might have, it was the, the sauce was burning me. It's still, uh, it's pretty hot. You did take a big bite and then you said it sort of like choked down the pizza? Yeah, and I kind of, and I ended up swallowing a bite that I think had maybe that had the most on it. You're a very honest guy, but I think that you might have just, you know, hacked the system. Now, nah, give me another little dab. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know what? <coughs> oh, Jesus. It kind of does have a nice flavor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Beyond the heat, it kind of does have that nice kind of florally. You, you like the, the mustard notes. You like the yeah, turmeric. mustard you notes. Like... That's what I'm getting, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting a little bit of mustard. No, I'm getting f***ing hot. I'm like literally sweating. Yeah, it's pretty hot. All right, Gubellini's going back on. Let me know um, what kind of pizza you make, how it goes for you, what you like to put on it. Let me know in the old comments. Sean, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us. Why Brad, you, uh... thank you for having me in. Shout out to Brad. The man knows how to make a cast iron skillet pizza. <laughs> thank you. Good fun. Bon appetit, baby. Vinny, get yourself a little pizza, huh? This is probably the most I've cursed, huh? Gonna be a lot of bleeping on this one. That was Blair. That last one? Yeah. Fuck you, Blair.